We showed during the meeting the follow-up of the response uh, results, the response study that was a study of ruxolitinib in patients with polycythemia vera who failed, who, had, who were resistant to or intolerant to hydroxyurea. So we showed the results up to 80 weeks after uh, of follow-up in the study, showing the very nice persisting response rate. Uh, almost more than 90% of patients who achieved the response maintained their response up to 80 weeks after achieving that response, showing that the response is durable in terms of phlebotomy, independence, control of hematocrit, and also symptoms and splenomegaly. On the other hand, we also have uh, reassuring signals on safety with this long use of uh, ruxolitinib in PV patients. You know that at the, uh, at the, during the first report of the trials, there was maybe some concern about non-melanoma skin cancers, more frequent in the ruxolitinib harm. We have longer follow-up now and adjusting the duration of exposure there's no more difference between patients randomized in the ruxolitinib arm compared to uh, the BAT arm, showing that there's not an increased risk of this uh, type of cancer, skin cancer. And also, but still we have to be, uh, maybe uh, look carefully for those viral infections, especially zoster reactivation that are not so frequent but are, were not seen before the use of ruxolitinib for our patients. And also the skin surveillance because they were exposed for a long time to hydria that is toxic for the skin.